What's up, man? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another video, man. And today I'm going to talk about the New York Giants beating the Houston Texans 27-22. You had the Washington Redskins beating the Green Bay Packers 31-17. And you had the Buffalo Bills beating the Minnesota Vikings 27-6. I'm going to start off with the New York Giants beating the Houston Texans. You know, the Giants went out there and they tore Eric Flowers, man. Like, that's it, bro. Eric Flowers got benched. I honestly think that's it for not only him in New York. I think that's it for him in his career, man, to be honest with you. He may get another opportunity somewhere else as a backup next season or whatever. But, like, he terrible, man. He's just a really terrible offensive lineman. And the Giants, you know, benched him the day before the game. And, I mean, they still let J.J. Watt get three sacks and stuff like that. But, you know, Eli had a little more time, man. He was able to hit Sterling Shepard over and over again who had a big game. You know, Beckham did what he do. You know, Barkley had a nice game on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Even Lattimore caught a couple of passes. Ingram caught a pass or two before he got hurt. Then he had a Red Ellison caught a touchdown pass. You know what I'm saying? And for the Houston Texans, man, you know, they improved to one and two. They played much better today, man. You know, they still got problems on their offensive line, but they played better today, and it was a good win for them on the road against another desperate Houston team, which, man, Houston starting off 0-3, man. That ain't what's up, man. You know, Deshaun Watson, you know, he had a crucial interception in the end zone. The Algatree got him. Then uh, Lamar Miller had a big fumble, but... um. I mean, yeah, man. I mean, they was getting picked apart by Eli, man. You know, Jonathan Joseph getting a little older, man. Like, Matthew back there, you know, he ain't really making as much of a difference yet in Houston like he did in Arizona. Besides, you know, that pick he got against Brady week one. But, like, yeah, Houston 0-3, man. Like, I knew, they were kind of, I knew they weren't quite ready to compete for their division yet. But, like, I thought they would at least won a game by now, you know what I'm saying? 0 and 3, that's a tough start for H Town, man. You know, Watson out there doing his thing, man. You know, coming off a knee injury. Hopkins doing his thing. Will Fuller doing his thing. But, I mean, they didn't get much help from their defense. And offensively, they're turning over the ball. And that's what's killing them. Yeah, they're moving up and down the field because Watson had 385 yards passing. But they ain't holding on to the ball, you know what I'm saying? So the Giants get a big win, get their first win of the year, a big one on the road. Then you had the uh, the Washington Redskins beating the Green Bay Packers 31-17. to Man, Adrian Peterson, I guess, like running against Green Bay, man. I think he had over 100 yards, two touchdowns today. You know, I don't know when the hell, like, Aaron Rodgers is a dog, man. I'm trying to tell you, Aaron Rodgers is something serious. But I don't know when the hell they're going to get this man some type of defense over there. I mean, Washington got receivers running wide open. You got Adrian Peterson running all over the place. You know, Randall Cobb didn't have a good game. You know, dropping that fourth down pass, then fumbling the ball. You know, like, they offense could have played better. But defensively, man, Green Bay need to get a defense, man. You know, check down Alex Smith. You know, he had a solid day to day, a typical Alex Smith game. Running When the running game get going, you know, he pretty dangerous with a run game. You know what I'm saying? But um, the Redskins, their defense played well, man. You know, it's a good big win for them. For them, they approve the two and one. Green Bay, they all one one and one now. You know what I'm saying? And then probably the biggest shocker of the day, the Buffalo Bills go in the Minnesota and beat the Vikings twenty seven to six. Man, what in the name of Rob Johnson, Doug Flutie? You know. What the hell was going on out there? Like Josh Allen out there jumping over, hurling at people in the middle of the field, had two rushing touchdowns. Buffalo got people running wide open. And I mean, damn, Kirk Cousins like kept getting sacked over and over again, had two fumbles plus a pick. I mean, y'all can't blame that shit on Daniel Carlson this week. You know, a rookie kicker go out there to Lambeau Field, missed three kicks. You know, even though I seen him in college, I thought he was one of the best college kickers I ever seen. You know what I'm saying? They still, like, they, they cut him. You know, rookie or not, I guess their whole mindset is like, man, we don't care if you're a rookie. We ain't got time for nobody missing three kicks. Bye-bye, you cut. Then you go out there and get blown out by a team that I thought, honestly, after week one and week two, 
was the worst team in football. The Buffalo Bills looked like they was on pace for the number one pick in the draft, and then they pull this rabbit out they had and dominate the Vikings in Minnesota, man. Which, yeah, they was missing Dalvin Cook today, which they could have used a run game, but, um, man, hey, man, like, that offensive line ain't what's up right now. They got, like, beat down, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's more and more starting to look like the Chicago Bears got a real shot at this division. The Lions suck. Green Bay, Aaron Rodgers, the truth, but he ain't got much help, especially on defense. You know what I'm saying? Minnesota look a little overrated. So, yeah, the Bears got a real shot at this division, man. But, yeah, that was a shocking, shocking result there, man. I mean, shout out to Josh, Ad uh, Josh Allen going out there getting his first win of the season. You know what I'm saying? And uh, one more thing, too, man, back when that Green Bay-Washington game, Clay Matthews, I don't know what the hell, bro. Them people got something on you. Every time you hit a quarterback, you look like you're going to get flagged, bro. You might as well just push him down and call it a day, man. Because I don't know, personally, I don't know what else you got to do to not get flagged for a hit on the quarterback. You know what I'm saying? But, um, but yeah, man, that's all I got for y'all today, man. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Y'all like and subscribe, man. Y'all have a blessing, man. Fly Eagles, fly.